what is going on welcome back to the channel today we're doing another unboxing a uh, small little item it's uh, hopefully gonna help me out with my day-to-day -day. and that day-to-day uh, -day is involving generally carrying this holster this leather holster you can see it's pretty well worn um, this has my Olight SR S2R baton it has a Leatherman Skeletool and a Griffin pocket tool a little pry bar so I carry these in this holster on my uh, my left hip and then additionally the last thing which is what this will hopefully help out with is I carry my keys so this guy right here this little clip it's nice I have uh, my keys right here which I don't have many keys it's really two house keys um, my remote start and my fob for my car I really cut this down this last year I used to have a lot more keys on here and realize I didn't need them all the time so um, this is nice I can just put that there it's not in my pocket because I do have other stuff in my pockets this kind of keeps it out of the way and quickly access it if I need to um, the part about that quick access is what this is hopefully gonna help out with so if you look this clasp is on the inside so pulling this off sometimes can be a pain um, if it was reversed I think it would be easier you'd be pulling out away instead of forward I don't know maybe not really sure it goes on pretty easy but uh, pulling it off sometimes is hard and if I have stuff in my hands which I generally do like just carrying stuff into the house or whatever um, it could be a pain to try to pull that off of there uh, so hopefully this product which is the magnet by key bar key bar is a pretty reputable company so that's why I went with them um, will help out and what this is is you can see it's two little halves they're magnetic there's little holes on each side for the little key rings and you put one on something and you put one on your keys and then you can just pull and they separate now I don't know what the the forces to separate these it could be a couple ounces it could be a couple pound pull I'm not really sure I guess we'll find out but hopefully this helps so what this is uh, this is the copper one they have an aluminum and a copper I kind of wish they had black as well I really do like copper um, but everything on here is brown or black so it would match better um, but I like the copper better than the aluminum um, it says this magnet is magnetic quick class specifically designed for the key bar but works on tools or other pesky items which you need uh, quick mounting solutions um, so it has two magnets uh, pressed with quarter by quarter rare earth magnets uh, they're cylinders that's about all it says um, actually they're there might say more there might say more but there's a label over this um, that's all I can read so what we're gonna do is open this up attach it and then uh, see how it does this cardboard is thick all right so you can see we got our two magnet halves there's our magnets pretty decent strength on them um, not the strongest the only thing I'm concerned about with something like this is snagging my keys and then them coming off although they are loud enough where I would assume that I would hear them uh, falling so hopefully that's not the case if it is obviously this is gonna go by the wayside but um, I've seen a lot of reviews on these things not these in particular are you know just magnet beads I guess in general that a lot of people use these things they have multiple sets of keys and they just have one on their keys each set of keys and they have one on something you know that um, a key ring or like I'm doing a holster um, and they can just swap different sets of keys you know for whatever their shops or different cars or whatever else it is a nice system so that you you can kind of uh, swap stuff back and forth very easily these rings are actually really nice they're not uh, they're not super cheap rings I don't know if you can see probably not but they're actually a really nice really nice ring you know you can tell some are really like flimsy that's why I have this one actually this one was a, a pretty thick it's kind of beat up at this point it's a little it's separating a little bit from being pulled apart a bunch of times but and it was all black 
that was one of the main reasons I used it. But uh, it's a hefty ring, and it it's nice. It does. It's it's got a look. It's bent up a little bit because of me setting on it a bunch of times. But uh, other than that, it's been pretty good. It would be nicer if these little rings were black, because then they would match. So I'm just going to clip this onto here, and then ideally this will just hang my keys and then I'll just have them like that. It's pretty good. You can see because uh, this is a ferrous metal, this is going to stick to anything else that is ferrous metals, you know. That's the only downside is if you're like in a, I guess, uh, environment where there's a lot of uh, dust and debris that has metal in it, it's gonna pick all that up, so you're gonna have to clean these things off uh, more frequent, frequently. But uh, so far, so good. The only thing I, I really have a concern about is adding the length. So it added, you know, this whole length down, uh, so the keys are gonna hang even lower than they already were. That's really my only concern. Um, I guess if I wanted to, I could probably put it through this hole, which I may do anyway, um, so that I could still use this clip for something else. In fact, I, I think I am going to do that, because then that would move that up real high. Let's see what that looks like. If I can get this on here, because it is a pretty wide bracket or clip or whatever you want to call this thing. So it's going to have to spread apart pretty good. It's almost on. There we go. And it's on. So now and that actually puts the keys, sorry, puts the keys to the outside, like I was just talking about as well. I guess this could be a problem, right? Because it's it's stuck to the keys, so it's not going to be just as easy as popping it back on. That's not bad. That, that's not much lower than it was before at this point. So this ring obviously was on here before. So it's not not much further down at that point. I'm not, uh, I'm not mad about that. I like that a lot better. I think this is gonna work pretty good. This is a pretty tough magnet. So uh, I don't I don't see myself breaking that connection just doing anything. I mean, obviously if this gets snagged on something, that's going to happen, but um, I haven't had that yet. This usually sits under my shirt anyway. My shirts usually come down around here, so that shouldn't really be a big issue. Um, especially if I wear, in the winter, if I'm wearing a long, like a flannel or something like that, not an issue at all. It'll cover this completely. But uh, I guess that's it for now. I'm pleasantly surprised. If there's an update, I guess I'll give it later. Uh, if uh, if it works out or not, maybe I'll do like a six month review or something like that. See how it is after using it every day. But uh, I guess for now, we'll uh, sign off and say, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.